so I'm using an AI motion designer called Hero. Basically, what this does is it's got all of these templates for creating different types of uh, motion graphics for your videos, which, you know, this stuff can be really technical and really challenging to do. It's very time consuming to do this stuff. What Hera has allowed me to do is I've created my own templates in Hera, which I can open here and show you. So these are just templates on Hera, which you can download and you can use. Like stock templates? Yes, that they've made and that, like, for example, I made this one and they put it here. It's like a true crime timeline. Like, I made this one. But I have my own templates that I've saved. And these are, like, for, the, for very specific stuff that I use in all of my videos, specifically maps. So check this out. Mm, that's rad. Oh, it, okay. I was just thinking zooming around was rad, but yeah, that's cool with the the outlining. Yeah, and so I can take this template and I can say, okay, I want to use this style of template. And, uh, you know, I can say, okay, let's have it be 15 seconds long, but let's say start above Alaska. Let's do this. And animate a lot a neon blue line around the state. Then smoothly zoom in to Anchorage. And let's just see what it does. Dude, um, you got to be creative too to think of stuff like this. I feel like most people aren't doing anything like this. I feel like most people are trying to take shortcuts. But this is a shortcut for me. Because is, I don't know. Yeah. But like map you animations it. are really challenging to do. <laughs> you, you found it out. Like that was a good prompt. Like, you you know, you, it's, that all takes a lot of time and um, creativity too, though. Well that, well, that was a really simple prompt. But because I've already saved this as a prompt template, we'll see what it does. But it should do it in this style. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's okay. We're at 34 seconds. So it took 35 seconds. So here it is. Okay, there it's animating the line around Alaska. Now I zoomed into Anchorage. So like that's a, that's an example of one. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can just export it. And then so, you know, I like to use these map animations with this dark style in my videos. And I'll usually make at least four to six maps per video. And I can make all those maps in like an hour and a half. You know, yeah. if I had to go out and make these video these maps on my own, it would take all day to do yeah. that. Well, and so, you, I, yeah, I mean, you know how probably. I mean, most people probably even know how if they had to do that. Yeah, well, believe me, I taught myself how to do it in Final Cut Pro and but and had to pay for like really advanced software to do it. Mm -hmm. um, l let me show you. A, let's look at like another template. So. Here's one that I do, you know, I pan from location to location a lot. So this one is go, goes from Anchorage to Palmer, I think. Or a Cluton Lake. So pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, I yeah, can just I like be that. like, so I can be, so where are you right now? I am in, specifically, I'm in Granada Hills. I can actually get the exact coordinates for Granada Hills so I can make it okay. accurate. Yeah. So let's just say Granada. There it is. Grana, Granada. Granada Hills probably Los, yeah, Los Angeles. Right there. Yeah. So I can just, um, I'll just like left click right here sure. on Granada Hills North and it will okay. give me the coordinates. Okay. So then I can go back to this map and I can be like, start above Granada Hills, California. And then in parentheses, I'll put the actual coordinates. Okay. And then I'll go after three seconds, smoothly pan to 
San Francisco. Mm. Um, and then I'll say use a gentle ease in and out for all movement. And because I've already saved this as a template, like it'll create the call out for San Francisco and Granada Hills. It should do it automatically. So okay. let's see how accurate it is. So it should just take like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, no problem. But yeah, it's just like stuff like this has just been, again, like it allows me to like create like a really branded niche, consistent element to my videos and my brand and just saves me just massive amounts of time. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. What the, what these two tools can do now and what they will do. Yeah. So, so I would, you know, I would, I would say in general, like I would want it to make that a little slower that, that looks it's far away looks, too. Yeah. yeah. But I get it. Yeah. That's definitely the map of LA that where I am. I'm San Francisco. Yeah. It's a cool yeah. style too. Like, so you, you prompted was you made this style. Well, yeah, but uh, they, so Hera has been making like continual improvements. So if you go right up here, they've got map styles. So you can click on here and there's mm. all these different map styles. And I think that this map style is called dark matter. But I could change this to uh, basic, and it'll change the map style. Oh, yeah, just like a regular. Okay. Yeah. You know, and obviously I could change the color of the text and whatnot. But, yeah, I mean, super powerful. And uh, I just learned that trick about going to Google Maps and putting in the coordinates. Mm -hmm. Like That's like a workaround to get Hera to do – be really specific with the maps. 